Hey there, this is Shaheen from ShaheenMiroInsights.com and I am doing the weekly intuitive forecast for the week of June the 26th. So we're going to look at the flow of energy, what energies are working and what we can, how we can link into those and what we can do to create the best flow for this upcoming week. So I pulled three cards that we're going to look at, and we are going to see what they have to say. And I really like these three cards because there's some powerful ladies. So the first card we have is the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles is all about um, the rich, fertile, beautiful things all around us, being able to really appreciate them, use them, um, accept them. So she is talking about being settled in your world, expressing gratitude, using the resources that you have, and not being afraid to luxuriate a little bit, to just really be at peace with your environment. And something that I'm feeling from her is that this is a good time for you to really look at your physical space and ask yourself, are there things that I'm wanting to do, things I'm wanting to change? Maybe you're wanting to paint. Maybe you're wanting to just do a little uh, deep cleaning. Maybe you're wanting to get new furniture. But this is a good time to really focus on making your environment reflect your intentions and your desires on a deeper level and really taking advantage of the opportunities that you have to do that. Um, you might even find that there's resources coming in from other places that are unexpected, an unexpected windfall or you know, some extra, extra cash or something comes up where you're able to really make this space yours. It's also talking about going out into the world and creating that same kind of sacred space, that same kind of environment. And again, using your uh, power, your abilities, your resources. So the Queen of Pentacles is wonderful at creating and making and bringing things to life in the physical. You know, she's shaping things with her hands, if you will. The next card that we have is the Empress. And the Empress is the mother of the tarot. And she is talking about um, nurturing and caring for yourself, for your environment, for the people that you love, really tapping into that energy. And when I'm looking at this, I have this strong sense of the message for this week really being about nurturing yourself, about acquainting yourself with your environment, about resting, relaxing, and being really um, grounded and centered in your space. So the Queen of Pentacles with the Empress, they're, they both have a very similar type of energy. And they're both talking about just relaxing, just being, not pushing yourself so hard to do things, but feeling the flow and the ease when you are doing them. And there's a difference. There's a difference between pushing yourself versus feeling called or desiring to do something. So notice those feelings as this week unfolds. The third card we have is justice. And I actually see her as being uh, an indicator for creating balance and equilibrium in your life. Again, that grounding, centering, and laying back in your environment and taking it in and being at peace, being at ease with where you are and what you're doing. But I also feel that she's talking about creating balance with your routine, creating balance with the work that you're doing, and also recognizing that by taking care of yourself, you're taking care of other people. And maybe what you want to do to take care of yourself is go out into the world and create some changes. So this is actually a great segue because one of the things I wanted to share with you guys 
is the um, amazing workshop, online workshop that I'm doing with Teresa Reed from the Tarot Lady. Uh, she is such an amazing person to work with and I, I love her. And so her and I have collaborated to do this workshop called Tarot for Troubled Times. And Tarot for Troubled Times is a two-part workshop where you're learning how to use tarot as a tool for understanding yourself, understanding your light, understanding your shadows, and really cultivating your inner power because you have all of these amazing abilities, resources, talents, all these powers within you that just need to be awakened, acknowledged, and cultivated. And by doing that, you are able to go out into the world and show up as an ally, an advocate, show up as a support for other people, which doesn't just help them, but it helps yourself. And I think that the cards are reiterating that message here, that we can show up for other people in the world by taking care of ourselves and really nurturing our gifts, our qualities, our blessings, and nurturing our, our own well-being. So I think this is going to be a week of beautiful shifts and changes. I think it's going to be a week of acknowledgement, and it's going to be a week of altruism, of stepping out and helping other people just as much as you're helping yourself, because really they're one in the same. So if you're interested in checking out Tarot for Troubled Times, there will be a link below and you can read all about it and you can join in. It's going to be a, it's going to be a wonderful adventure. We have done some really um, wonderful writing, some beautiful exercises that we're going to share with you and it's going to open up a powerful conversation. So we are both really excited to do this workshop and it's online. So no matter where you are in the world, you can participate and join in with us and really take part in this conversation. There's a Facebook group where we can chat and share ideas and, and talk about the topics and get to know one another. And we are also going to do, if you sign up before the deadline, which I think is sometime in July, we are going to be doing um, a Q&A. So this will be before the actual workshop and it'll be an extra bonus for the people who've signed up um, before this time. You can find out about that on the webpage, which I will link below. All right. Thank you so much for allowing me to share this with you today. I hope that you have an uh, amazing week, a beautiful week, and I hope that this information helps you to navigate the, the hurdles and also the blessings of the week. So if you have any questions or comments, you can always use the contact form or leave a comment. And if you would like to set up your own private intuitive guidance session, you can do that by visiting me at shaheenmiroinsights.com. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.